Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. What's on deck today? Today we got Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. This is a Lord of the Rings universe game, and I like this game a lot because it actually has a built-in benchmark. And I've used this. Like when I had my old computer, I ran the benchmark, took a couple screenshots of the results. And then when I got my new computer, I ran the same benchmark with the same settings. And I took a couple screenshots. And maybe we could do the same thing with this. Yay! That'd be cool though, huh? But let's play it. Let's get it up to the big board and see if it's Steam Deck verified. All right, we're on the big board here. Check out the game info. Details. Full green across the board. We are Steam Deck verified. Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play the game. We're gonna just continue the story mode. Let's get me off the screen here. But before we do that, let's get up the telemetry. We gotta get the telemetry going. Ooh, it says we have 100 frames per second. All right, let's get me off the screen. This is just the loading menu, so. All right, we're in the game now. You can see pretty cool. We're getting 197, 102, 98, 89. I'm just like rolling around because I want the movement to like happen and changing the camera angles and stuff. And just trying to keep the action moving. But yeah. Look at that fun little guy. The game is like pretty solid Whee! all right we got a new target jump we drop down there we go just want to keep going down. The frame rate's holding up really good. This game is like super duper optimized. Kick some booty booties. Hey, don't kick my booty booty. Ooh, look at the frame rate. Still holding at 93, 91, 94. That's pretty sweet. Let me, uh, let me pause this. Let's bring me up to full screen. So when I unplug it, obviously the frame rate's not going to deviate from because we were getting like 100 frames per second. It's sitting at a solid 99, 100 frames per second when we're in this mode. Let's check it out for a minute. So there you can see we're in the game. Let's jump out. We'll continue slashing. Slashy, slashy. But pretty cool. It's pretty solid frame rate. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Wrong one, this one. Oh, that must have hurt. Ouch, buddy. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's fun. He's like, I whooped your booty. Thanks for whooping my booty. So that's Shadows of Mordor. The game's not new, so don't get me wrong. It's been around for a while, but it's a good benchmarking test tool, in my opinion. And I think this gives us some information. So let's run that benchmark. We'll go back up to the full screen with the device, and I'll just put it on the capture device, because it's running really well at that 30 hertz. So let's check that out. All right, we're back up on the big board here. Let's go ahead and take me off the screen. We're going to come in here. We're going to go ahead and exit the game. Yes, that's fine. Do whatever you guys want. We're, we're going to leave in a second here. What's All on? right. Maybe we can get there through here sometimes. Nope, it's not going to let me do it there. So let's quit here. All right, so if we go to options, and then you go down to benchmark here, we're gonna go ahead and run this bad boy. Okay, go ahead and mute myself while this runs. Ranger, what is your name?
All right, there we go. We got some results. Average frames per second, 104.28. Max frames per second, 202.11. And minimum, 52.20. That's pretty good. Pretty amazing. So what I'd like to do is let's wrap this up here. Bring me up full screen. So there we got our results from our benchmark. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So that shadows the Mordor. I am going to do a little benchmark on my computer, run it at the same raster size and stuff right now. So this is currently running at a, you know, 1280 by 720. I'm going to set my computer up to do the same thing and I'm going to run the benchmark and I want to see what the result is. I'm not going to really, um, you know, include that whole video, but I might, might re include the end result. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Let me know down in the comments if you played this game, if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't know about this benchmark. And again, a good way to use it is to use it as a measuring stick so you can compare and contrast it from one device to another device. Um, but you got to set like the raster size and the frame rate and the actual graphic settings exactly the same on each device to, you know, kind of give it a baseline. Well, hey, thanks a lot for watching. See you down in the comments and the next video. Peace. Sometimes I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> see you later, guys and gals and maybe dolphins. That was my dolphin noise. It's horrible.